Hi guys, and welcome to the video. Um, little intro there. So, um, anyways, uh, today is, uh, we're gonna be seeing a different side of me today, uh, on Wednesday. Who uh, on Wednesday, so, which is tomorrow. Today's Tuesday when I'm recording this, I usually have to do it ahead of time now. So, um, anyways, you're gonna be seeing a different side of me, and the reason... I say that is because I'm doing something, learning something new, kind of, I mean, I've been on this channel for a while, I do have several videos on ballpoint pens, um, and everything on this channel, so, if you go back to my video history, or something like that, um, sorry I have to like, um, Big for a second, but if you go and watch, I did PowerPoint pen shading techniques. Um, but I've been learning so much on Skillshare. I've been learning so much on YouTube, and it's like, I think it's been approved, but I'm not really sure. But then again, I feel like it's kind of going in a cycle. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, I'm going to show you my ballpoint pen process because I finally got a process down that I'm happy with, um, that my skin tones are not getting too dark because here's a tip. Here's a tip that I learned and taught myself. If you mark where you're going to shade on the face, um, your shading will get as dark. I mean, you can layer where you, um, mark where you're going to shade so that way you won't get too carried away. Because I've had portraits, oh my gosh, the past weekend I've had portraits that had gotten too dark because I wasn't even planning where I was going to shade uh, my portraits and my portraits have gotten so much better I think tonight because I'm working where I'm shading my um my on the face on the um uh portrait so for tonight um uh, I know I'm talking about RA for two minutes but I wanted to show you my process uh, and the speed drawing coming up in this video, I had done this portrait right here. Um, it took around 20 minutes. These portraits take around 20 minutes, um, depending on what the signs are now. So 20 to 30 or maybe an hour, depending how complicated they are. Um, but now that since I'm working more the shading and everything, um, I want to show you some more examples. And the reason that we're not at my desk, it's not a sketchbook tour, so I'm just showing some examples of how I'm marking the face. But mark it in pencil, don't mark it in pen, mark it in pencil first, and then go back in with the pen and start shading. That's what I learned um, today, and actually, I think, uh, which improved my shading a little bit, so I was um, quite happy with that. This is the first uh, portrait, well not really the first. I've done several portraits in the past, um, actually, with pencil. That's how I started drawing because I've been seeing me draw like some other portraits on YouTube and I wanted to get into art by doing that, so, um, but then I found a couple of artists and I can link them in the, um, description below that started to draw in pen or wanted to, like, um, improve a pen, so, but anyway, this is one of the first portraits I've done with my technique of marking the face first and where you're going to shade. Um, so this is like one of the first portraits that I think came out much better than... And I can show you those drawings if you want me to, but let me warn you, they're really not... I wouldn't say terrible, but you got to start somewhere. So uh, I'm showing you this one right now. Uh, I did a pen. And I don't know if I brought my pens in here. Oh yeah, I did. These are the pens I'm using for my um, ballpoint uh, portraits. Uh, the Round Stick Grip by Bic, which you'll see in a second uh, of the portrait I've done with that. And this is a portrait I use this pen in, which is a big crystal. Um, and I love these pens. Um, so the next portrait I had completed tonight, and this took around an hour or maybe like 30 minutes, it's this one right here. You can see that since I marked the shading, there's very little shading on it, 
and I actually like that look. Um, so, and I use guidelines to build my portrait, my faces. So, there's a couple of, like you saw in that sketch. And I don't show you my guidelines, but I can do a tutorial on how to draw faces realistically like this. Um, so, but yeah, if you want to continue watching this video and see the different, um, the shading or, um, if you want to, okay, I'm going to start over. If you want to continue watching this video and see the speed drawing portion of this, I will do a voiceover for it in this video. So continue watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. We're, we are at almost 90 subscribers. I cannot believe it. Um, we are at 88. So maybe we'll get to 100 by my birthday, which is July 19th. That would be a wonderful birthday gift. Um, I will be turning a big 30. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on to the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up. This video might be going up tonight or tomorrow, depending. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Continue watching for the speed video portion of it. So, yeah, see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, and welcome to this part of the video. Um... I'm just going to talk about a little quick uh, my ballpoint pen process and my sketchbook. I was just adjusting the camera there. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, uh, first step, always when I do my portraits now, I've been taking a few Skillshare classes of the ball, ball, ballpoint pen. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, tonight, um, well, past few days, uh, I've been learning a little bit more about it. Um, I'm writing my, the face with the pen first. Um, used to, I would just start shading right away and not do line art first. Um, but if you do line art first, um, the features will stand out a lot more. And so I've been learning that. <clears throat> Sorry if I cleared it through. Um, so another tip, like I was talking about in the beginning of the video, is to mark where you're going to shade. I stumbled upon this on my own, and when I learned that trick that I taught myself, where to mark, where to mark on the face where you're shading, your mark will become lighter. Um, well, I'm not just it's about your pressure and everything. So, which I've been learning and trying to get that pressure going on. So if you press harder you get a harder um, line but if you press very very lightly like feather like um, you get that lighter stroke and that's what I've been trying to teach my hand to do which is very tricky but if you have a light hand already you should be fine um, which I've been learning so um, yeah I've also been learning where to place the mouth and everything so hopefully the mouth is okay so uh, I've been learning that, and another trick uh, for the ballpoint pen is to have scrap paper and a tissue or napkin nearby to wipe, wipe your pen um, so that you won't get smudges every now and then on your uh, portrait or your drawing, whatever you're drawing. Um, that's just a little side note there, there. I can't talk tonight, oh my gosh. So, yeah, I've been learning a lot with Skillshare. This video is not sponsor sponsored by Skillshare, but I do like them. So, I do have a uh, subscription to their to the um, website. But, anyway, you can learn a lot with their website and everything. So, uh, I just, that's supposed to be a flower right there I'm working on right now. But, it doesn't really look like a flower to me. Just look a little lost in the hair. So, um, anyways, uh, I had so much fun with this portrait. My portraits are good around 20 minutes or maybe, maybe to an hour, depending. Um, I want to try two, like, two faces to a portrait, if that makes any sense. Like, two people in one drawing, uh, it's a better way to word it. Uh, I do want to try that, so I'm a little nervous in that. But this is just my process and my sketchbook, um, with the sketchbook I've been using a lot lately. Um, so, yeah, 
this is the same sketchbook I did my sketchbook tour with. Um, so a lot of you guys seem to like the sketchbook tour, but that's why I bought this video. But this is just my different side of me you haven't seen quite yet um, with the process and everything, how I go about it now. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. Uh, but I had to get a little bit better with the shading and since I'm learning the trick of um, marking where you shade uh, It's been helping my drawings a little bit better. So I hope that's okay. And also uh, Another tip. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it in this video, but if you hold the pen at a 45 degree angle um, or hold your pen It's hard to describe but if you hold it in the middle, like I'm holding it at the end right now because I'm doing the hair, but if you hold it like towards the middle, you'll also get the light, um, the light shading. So that's just different tips that you can learn. And I didn't turn the paper here, but if you turn the paper, you get even more even shading. Um, with that, uh, usually I like to do one layer just because the skin is very light. Um, so it's just a sketch in my sketchbook. It's not like a huge portrait, um, like I had shown in the previous clip of this video. Um, anyway, this video is coming to an end. Thank you so much for subscribing and continue to subscribe and comment. I hope you enjoy seeing uh, my process and I hope that um, I could do more videos leading towards the realistic side. Um, I will do continue doing cartoons soon, but this is just a side that you'll be able to see um, a little bit more. Um, I will do cartoons later or later on, but anyways, I'm just having fun with this for now. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.